We're getting a new look this morning at a plane crashing in the ocean off Hawaii last month. The accident killed a state official. And as John Blackstone shows us, one of the survivors captured the drama with his camera. This is how it looked to rescuers from the sky. But this is the view of the nine passengers aboard the Cessna aircraft as it plunged into the waters off Molokai on December 11th. The engine you know, made, a, made a noise and all the bells and whistles started. Ferdinand Puente said only planned to record the takeoff with his GoPro camera, but kept rolling as the engine failed. He had the camera on a stick and was able to document himself and the other passengers struggling to stay afloat. The pilot is seen with a cut to his head. It was so many things just happening, you know, it's, it's you know, is it, is it for real, you know, is this, is this really happening? A spear fisherman who was used to being in the ocean, Puentes tried to swim to shore, but with 50 yards to go, he was overcome with exhaustion. A lot of things was just, was just racing, but, you know, you, you can't actually say, oh, I'm going to do this and that. It's pretty much everything is on instinct. The only fatality was Hawaii Health Director Loretta Fuddy. She gained notoriety in 2011 after President Obama asked her to release his birth certificate amid speculation he was born outside the United States. Fuddy's exact cause of death is still under investigation. Puentes and the other passengers were all treated and released. For CBS This Morning, John Blackstone, San Francisco.